Hey Mo, Powerline Industries, Power Wash Industries. Uh, we're here to show off our 2017-2018 uh, middle range vacuum system that has light duty filtration on it. And uh, it's a sweet spot. It's not the low end units that you see going around. It's This thing's full industrial grade. Uh, it's not as big as our big, big uh, vacuum unit, you know, that's got its place. This is a great, we'll call it starter environmental system. Uh, first off, I want to show the HT23 and some of the improvements we've made. Gone with the big, big unloader, the relief valve. That solved all of our relief problems. Still got the General Emperor Series pump, dual filter. Got the blowout here, so you can blow it out or antifreeze. We've got a new control box, weatherproof control box, that shows uh, the fuel going to the burner, if it's on, power to the burner, hour meter, nice little things uh, that'll really help. Uh, again, a Vanguard motor made by Toyota, uh, Winco generator, and we're staying with the large burner on this unit. It just gives great heat rise and really, you know, heat's one of the key factors in uh, cleanup jobs. Large fuel tanks, I'll kind of make, try to make this as quick as I can. So this is just an overview video. Got the generator. The generator, not only can you run some other stuff on it, but it runs the pump out and the vacuum system. So this is on our electric unit. The bypass system on the pump comes up and you can send bypass to one tank or both, right? Go both tanks, yeah. Okay, uh, you can either do an antifreeze or a soap tank here. That seems to fit really good. You got your choice of which tank you want to use, whether you want to use recycled water or fresh water. And on this unit, you've got uh, comes with the really really nice tool boxes. We can do signage on the outside as well. Uh, comes with an extra toolbox to put your goodies in. Here's our production check checklist. We're getting ready to ship this unit out. And uh, again, this trailer's gone to a whole nother level. This is a six lug axle. So each axle is rated up to 6,000 pounds, um, which is more than adequate for what the load is. But I'd rather have a heavier duty trailer than the light duty ones. I see those light duty ones on the web. I mean, you really want to pull 500 gallons around on a little trailer, a little stick trailer. I, you know, luckily, you know, we've never had a problem with our trailers or trailers breaking or any of those issues. Uh, don't want to have any either. So cross our fingers, of course. Um, this has got the, uh, comes with both surface cleaners, the vacuum surface cleaner. This isn't the vacuum one, the vacuum one's over here. And uh, the three bar cleaner that gives us just a real nice pattern flat proof tires. We bolt this down. You can even lock it down if you're in a high theft area. A little more room on the back deck back here. Because generally we'll put the uh, hose drill on there. The vacuum hose drill will fit here. We can put the surface cleaner off to the side. Uh, that works real well. Uh, some of the other options, that's the vacuum berm. So you, and everything's cam locked. And the difference with cam locks is you really get a nice seal. I, you know, a lot of guys just shove hoses on. I, I'm a cam lock guy. So really this, this line here would go to uh, uh, the vacuum like that. This is the jumper hose between the vacuum rail and, and actually this hose would hook on. See how we do it there? <laughs> so up here you'd have your vacuum hose hooked up to here and uh, here's your power unit here had great luck with this this is the streamlined version uh, Hydrotech makes it big name in the vacuum system you can look them up sure you can find this really cheap but after you bolt it down I've done all the engineering you know that's that's where the cost coming into it we engineer it so you can send the water to landscape or back to the water tank the collection tank, the fast drain we've got on there. 
Uh, just a good unit. It's good clean unit. It's easy to service. Um, works really well with their vacuum system, so we, we like that. Uh, back to the other side, some of the other options that come with this. Try to keep my voice here. So this is a pre-filter system. Works really well in between the primary vacuum and out in the hose. So we'll put the hose right here and then that catches all your heavy solids. So if you don't pre-clean an area, it's, it's going to clog the filter. We've, we've had guys that think that they can take it out and use it as a street sweeper. They can, but it'll, fill, it'll clog the filter really fast. And then they call up Chester and really mad at us. So, <laughs> you know, it's a good idea to sweep or blow off the area before um, you go and power wash the area you're going to clean. So this is a low point sucker. They call them scuppers in the industry. So you put a low point wherever the water pools. It comes with a vacuum stick. These are these are really great for for final jobs or to go into the tile. If you're doing tile in the back of a store, restaurant, excuse me. Ah, I need to drink my wine. <clears throat> Alright. So here's your hole drills. They are uh, super duty, 5,000 psi swivels, 100 feet on each one. They'll hold up to 200 on each one, 200 feet. So you can have one guy surface cleaner, one guy washing the property or the house, whatever you're going to do. Fill holes for pressure. Ladder rack, you can put your extension wand up there. Uh, this shows kind of the back side of the unit. You can see how big the, the burner system is. It's 115 volt. We've, we've been the 115 volt guys forever. Our lower end stuff may not have it, but this is our premium industrial unit. And again, take a look at that trailer. This is a sweet, sweet rig. And you can put whatever size ball on here. We recommend the, either the D ring, you know, the loop ring, or the 2 and 5 16ths on there. You got another toolbox up front here to uh, put your gear in. Or the nice coat. Hey, thanks for your time. Call again if you got any questions. Uh, anybody here, we're always happy to help. Take care. Thank you.